This is a review of several popular compact tactical flashlights. I tried to pick several of the popular brand names and uh, lights that were all kind of similar in capabilities and reliability and, and function. And this is the uh, Streamlight Night Fighter. And it has high load and strobe mo modes. And uh, to change it, I guess you actually have to rotate this end cap change or press the button and then rotate the cap back which is a little bit odd uh, you can see the price here and like I said all of the ones we're talking about are use, are pretty close in functionality and reliability uh, this one does have a slightly better waterproof rating uh, it is to IPX I think most of the other ones here are IPX 7 this one's 8 and that just means it can go one meter deeper than uh, the IPX7. Um, as I said, this one has just a high and low mode, so there's nothing fancy, no zoom or anything. Then the next one is the four sevens, and this one is uh, has high, medium, low, and extra low. I guess they call it moonlight. And this one has two and 230 lumens and uh, all of these are pretty much type 3 hard anodized aircraft grade aluminum so they've all got uh, quality pretty good quality and most of these are powered by two CR123A batteries And the next one is the Surefire now this one has jumped way up in price and uh, it only has 200 lumens and only high and low, so I'm not sure where the, the big price difference is. Um, it seems to be similar reliability and built uh, using the same, aeros well, they call it aerospace aluminum body, but it's typically aircraft quality aluminum. And same thing, still hard an anodized for extra durability. So really, I think you're paying a lot here for the name Surefire, because that is one of the most popular lights on the market. Next one is a Pelican. In Pelican, I couldn't find anything similar in the 200 lumen range. Um, as you can see, this one only has 41 lumens, I believe it is. It does come with a holster. That's the only one that's got a, an extra accessory with it. Once again, using two uh, lithium batteries and... Most of these are around five and a half inches long. I think this one really only has uh, one mode, I believe. So it's really just on and off. And then the last one here is a Viseri. It's the VX230 or VZ230. And this one is uh, uh, unique compared to the other ones in that it has zoom capability, which allows you to uh, actually zoom in the lens. for uh, So you can make it either a wide-angle lens or a spotlight. And it also, another unique thing is it comes with a plastic diffuser that you slide over the end. And then you can set it on its tail cap and uh, pretty much light up an entire room with it because it, uh, it has a fluorescent light glow. So it, instead of turning it to a from uh, converts it from a spot or a floodlight to a more of a emergency lamp. And this one does have a very nice carrying case that comes with it and extra O-rings. And this one comes with a battery carrier. Unlike the other ones, they're all lithium. This one allows you to use three AA batteries, and um, but if you do want to use rechargeable batteries, it has an extension tube that you can pretty much, there you can see that you can uh, use one lithium 18650 battery. So it would allow you to actually have, uh, you know, use the AA batteries for backup or, or a lithium battery for backup. So if, you run out of juice you could quickly change to another battery so that's kind of a nice feature on it you can see this one is all also smaller than the others uh, it's about 
three and a quarter to uh, four, about four inches, I think, four and a quarter or something like that. And the other ones are just a little longer. There you can see the diffuser on it. You can also use it, of course, for tactical mounting on a weapon. And most of these you could do that. And uh, there's a picture of the LED in it. So out of all of these lights, this is definitely the one that's got the best value on it. It's the lowest price and most feature-rich light of all of them. Plus, it's got uh, more modes, high, mid, low power, and like I say, the zoom. And then it has strobe, uh, which only I think only one of the other ones had, a, or two of them had strobe capability, which is very nice for emergency um, and, and police use them for disarming or people as well and then this one has unlike the others has SOS mode so you can use it for emergency purposes so out of all those um, I think this one has like I say is the best value and they're all pretty much the same quality so I would go with the VZ 230